Ryan, the roving giant here. I got Casey and baby Alice with me. Wanna say hi to everybody, Alice? Say hi. Hi. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little exploring today. Enjoying a quarantine walk. <laughs> and uh, we are at the Genesee County Park and Forest. Uh, it's really interesting, just like a local spot for us, trying to recreate locally, which is what we all should be doing right now, not traveling around recreating. This is a very, very muddy trail right here. The ladies are getting situated. Situated! situated. We're gonna do a little exploring. We'll tell you more about the park. It's a really cool spot in case you wanna check it out. And yeah, follow along. Let's roll the intro. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Pastor Ryan, the roving giant. We are on the Finger Lakes Trail, taking on the Northville Lake Classic Trail. We are at Loon Mountain. Let's do some exploring. things about this park Ooh. is they have tons of informational stuff so this is a great place to bring the family they actually have if we get to it they've got this uh, interpretive nature center which is really pretty neat we can't go in because it's closed for uh, coronavirus related things but um, it's normally open and it's fascinating they got all sorts of really cool stuff about local wildlife local plants totally up my alley and uh, <laughs> they uh, They've got tons of trails in here. They got mountain biking trails, horseback riding trails, regular hiking trails. They've got a paved road that goes through the whole thing. So if you want to just take a stroller or uh, take something, something like that, you're welcome to go through. The trails are very well kept. Um, this isn't your uh, wilderness type park, but it is a really beautiful park and they really keep it up well. Uh, yeah, let's keep checking it out. wildlife trail and it seems like it's a full orienteering course and everything on it it's really well done they've got nice quality signage really teaches you a lot you can learn a lot coming to a park like this I thought it was really interesting so I did a little bit of research on the park the park is, was actually the first county park ever formed in the state of New York fun fact and it was formed in 1915 that's really pretty cool and it's a beautiful park i mean look at this it's like they've got every kind of trees i guess these pine trees were originally all planted to help with the lumber shortage at the time but it's a braille trail. oh it's a braille trail so oh that's so cool so you can enjoy it even if you can't see it that's awesome oh so we were hiking we just spotted this tree you see how it's got the little curve I understand that that used to be a uh, like a, an old style trail marker back in the day. I don't know if that's true. Write it in the comments if you think I'm right or if you think I'm wrong. Survey! Survey! It's been a while since we've all touched base. I think that last video that I put up was like eight, nine months ago, somewhere around there. I'm not sure. Uh, but since then, obviously, Alice has entered the world and joined our family, which we are super excited about. She's about five and a half months old now, and she likes these adventures. Um, 
Or at least she sleeps through them peacefully. Yeah, she sleeps through them One peacefully. One or the other. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that definitely uh, shifts the way I do adventures lately. We've been doing more trips like this where it's a little day trip and uh, we explore a park that's a little easier to get to, something close to home. Obviously all this coronavirus stuff has impacted the way trips happen. Um, and uh, I think that's for the best. I think that actually works out for us as a family to recreate locally. I hear that's the hashtag, I guess, is re recre hashtag recreate locally. That's a real thing. Okay, I didn't make sure. that up. No, nope, I'm um, <laughs> it wasn't skepticism. It was just just listening. My face. Just what her face looks like. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're in, enjoying this park a lot. Uh, it's because it's nearby our house. We've been just going in the woods out behind our house uh, and uh, some state land stuff like that. Alice and I went fishing. She has already Thanks. caught her first uh, brown trout, and it was the bigger than any brown trout I've ever caught. She slept through that. Too. She slept through that, but she did it. She, um, did. she was present. <laughs> she was present for her first brown trout. Um, <laughs> that was she's really like fun. like a rabbit's foot. She's just yeah. there. She's my lucky charm, this little one. Keeping things lucky. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I figure Alice will be probably showing up in a video here or there. Casey obviously <laughs> continues showing up in videos. But I'm back. glad you guys have stayed subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you enjoy these videos, it'd be awesome if you subscribed. It's great to see people joining and following along. I uh, just put up uh, my website, therovinggiant.com. If you want to check it out, check it out. That'd be really cool. And yeah, uh, let's keep exploring. All right, we've come out of the woods and now we are over by the interpretive center. You can see it over here. Uh, if the sun isn't completely blocking your view. First, we're gonna go over to the Acorns Learning Center, which is a cool little spot where you can learn about trees and birds and stuff like that. And then we'll go and at least like look at the outside of this building over here, see what we can find. It's closed right now. Huh? It is closed right now, like I said earlier, because of, because of the coronavirus. Huh. Check it out. Casey, this, this is a rocking chair. favorite tree. I'll go for aspen, but white birches are beautiful too. I like specific trees, not just like specific varieties, but like a specific tree. There was an elm tree growing up and I used to hang on the branches. It wasn't, I couldn't really climb it very well. Um, and I really like that tree, but it got Dutch elm disease. Oh no. So, yeah, my dad had to cut it down, but you have some of the wood and you're going to make me a frame. That's right. It's still in my garage. I don't Sturdy. think it has completely dried out. We're going to make a little tiny frame Yeah. because there's not a lot of it. With big meaning. Big meaning. Me, it's from my favorite tree. <laughs> so that's my favorite tree. Cool. Yeah. And I, like I remember tree. having, uh, <laughs> like thinking of the, the white birches, I remember having a pair of white birches in the backyard at the house I grew up at. Mm and they were always a blast. They were kind of small when we were little, they grew as we grew, and oh, yeah. they were able to handle us climbing on them as we got bigger, which was pretty cool. There was some sort of conifer that was planted in my parents' yard when I was born, which is now like 30 feet tall. It's that's huge. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that one's it's huge. A tree. Yeah. That's a spruce, that's a right. giant spruce tree. I said conifer. That's is that part that, of the same? You're correct. Okay, I you said conifer because I wasn't sure what variety. <laughs> you knew it had cones. <laughs> Again, specific trees. I specific like that tree. Specific trees. <laughs> I like a specific elm tree that no longer exists uh, vertically. What did you just see, Casey? Oh, would you like to take a walk down the Death Row Trail and visit the County Home Cemetery? You can't take a horse or a snowmobile. Yeah. But to be honest, I saw this and went, I want to go down it. I want yeah. to go to there. Do you want to go to there? We've gone to there. We have gone to there in the past. 
You want to go to there now? The trail. I'm not sure what is death row related. Oh uh, yeah. With it. Um, it just seems like an aggressive name. For real. But there is a little. Um, it's not a cemetery per se. There's no one buried there, but there are a couple markers um, in honor of uh, some folks who were buried from the Alms House. Uh, and I think they were buried in unmarked graves, and so this was kind of like a tribute hmm. to them. So the Alms House that she just mentioned is a, uh, it's currently known as the Rolling Hills Asylum, and you can take haunted tours there. Yeah, I mean, it was a sanitarium and an Alms House, and perhaps it is haunted. I don't know, but I, I think that, I think those places are very interesting, but I think we need to have more compassion on the people who lived there, um, because they, in some cases, didn't get it. pretty bridge here where Crick goes through. You say Crick or Creek? I say Crick. Survey. Survey. <laughs> Is this going to become a new segment in Roving Giant videos? Yeah. Uninteresting survey. Uninteresting survey things. <laughs> Let's see if anybody actually comments. Oh, this, I think this bridge has been here a while though. It looks... It looks old. It looks um, stately. Stately. So we kept walking down the road a ways and we've come upon a really cool playground. Picnic area. Picnic area too, yeah. Um, you're able to come, you're able to, uh, some of the bigger pavilions that they have here you actually can rent out. Uh, smaller ones I think are all first come first serve. Obviously the playground is closed at the moment, uh, but they even have like a little stool spot so you could set up your camper here. Horseshoes? Uh, horseshoes, yeah. I'm trying not to face the sun, <laughs> but we're walking away from the sun, so that makes it more complicated. Yeah, we'll just walk backwards. For the sake of you at home, this is how much we care about you. We'll walk backwards and talk and pretend like we're not about to trip. I'm just kidding. They actually have certain hours here at the park. And uh, during the winter, they're different than the summer. During the winter, they're open from like nine till five. Uh, and during the summer, they're open from nine till nine, I believe is the hours. You should check their website. Don't trust what I say. Um, but yeah, so they kind of close down right around sunset, pretty much. So yeah, still check it out. identification montage starting now. Beach. Old beach. Yeah, that's still a beach. Yeah, even these ones are beach. Craggly beach. I think that big one right there is a cherry. This big fella right here is a yellow birch or a river birch maybe. Either yellow or river. I don't know which, how to tell the difference. This puppy's a pine. See the long needles up there? That's pine. This here is a cedar tree. I love cedars. When Casey and I got married, my dad and I actually took a couple of cedar logs and stripped them down and made a cross by the lake where they are uh, on the Sacandaga, which was uh, pretty cool. And it's still standing. We've been married for over 10 years and um, it, and, and what? It's still standing and so are we, hooray. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool, not only that it's still standing, but you get some really pretty pictures down there. So you'll have to check out Instagram. Check out the Roving Giant on Instagram. I got a picture of it there. It's really pretty. Check it out.
those beech trees are really cool. They'll keep their leaves all winter like that and they stay brittle. So they're like in a gray treescape. I think the beaches are like the little bit of light. Beaches and oaks tend to keep their trees. The beaches keep their trees, keep their leaves. Uh, the oaks tend to be a bit red and the beaches are really light like those ones are. Yeah, natural jazz hands. So you see that fuzzy stuff right there? That's poison ivy. That's how you identify poison ivy when it's when there's no leaves of three, leave them be. You look for all those little like claws. <laughs> they look like uh, centipedes climbing up the tree. Do not touch that. The wind really just picked up for us. Uh, and it's really coming through. There's not a lot of low level cover down here. The cover's all up top. That's like spruces and or firs or hemlocks. I can never tell the difference. I know there's something with a little white thing on the bottom of the needle. Like I think I think these are spruce because the needle kind of wraps all the way around like a tuft, but ones that have kind of like a flat needle that lays more like that. Um, I guess you can check the back of the needle and if it has a line I believe that means it's a hemlock but I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong find a find the truth and thus comment do you guys know what kind this is I don't know it's like all spirally it's really interesting hey do you guys know what these are I'm not really sure I'm assuming they are something that was out at the end of last season but I don't really know what they are You'll have to tell me, write it in the comments. If you can't tell, I like comments. So thanks for coming along on this little family adventure at the Genesee County Park and Forest. Check out their website, check out the park, and until next time, stay curious.